Hi people, it's your coach here, Samoni Banjo, and I have just one question for you today. And it's a scenario, and this is the scenario. What happens when you start your week full of energy, full of vigor, full of focus, determination, and all of a sudden you go for this meeting you've been preparing for, and the outcome is negative? Or you, you receive an email, you, you've been expecting fantastic news, and the outcome is negative, or you receive a phone call that really disrupts your day. It's 12 noon, you've been on a high and this thing sort of crashes you. What do you do next? That's the big question for everyone in this team. I have some tips for you because I've been through this a number of times and I want to show and share with you some things that people that are mentally tough tend to do. Number one, we tap into our EI, our emotional intelligence, and we recognize that we have emotions and that if we don't control those emotions, they'll disrupt the rest of the day. And the easiest way for them to disrupt them is to put us on a down, feel sorry for ourselves. And before you know it, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, an hour, two hours, six hours have gone because some email that someone else sent that's probably forgotten about or a message or a meeting that's already moved on has disrupted our day. Now, as entrepreneurs, we cannot allow that because that is a productivity thief. So the tip I've got for you here is to share with you how best to stop that from happening. So number one, you have to recognize that you are mentally tough. And by being mentally tough, I mean that when these things happen to you, because they will, you have to have the ability and the tenacity to bounce it off. Bounce it off by knowing you have emotions and that you will control your emotions. You will not let your, your emotions control you. How? By having a positive attitude and being resilient, which means in your mind, you hear bad news. You don't say you die. You say bad news. Well, next time will be better. Or you say, shrug it off. It's a lesson learned. So I know that if I do this again, I won't have this outcome because I have learned a lesson from this. This is the approach that people with mental toughness tend to take. You cannot allow other people, external parties, steal your productivity time. When you're at your peak, you should be doing your best, writing those things down, preparing those sketches, improving on your products, pushing for more sales, connecting, networking with more people, spending time developing yourself. Whatever you do, do not allow the effects of a negative meeting or a negative email or a negative phone call disrupt your day. Remember, you're mentally tough. You will control your emotions, your resilience. And from the inside, you say, lesson learned. I'll do it a different way next time. And please remember before I stop, and this is really important. Remember this. Life is not always fair. Yeah? It's not always fair. And we know that. Life isn't always fair for you, for me, or anyone else. So what we do is we shrug our shoulders and we keep on moving to the next thing. It's your coach, Samuel Banjo, signing out. Wishing you a very, very, very productive day. Take care.